Welcome to Behind the Jersey alongside Lindsay Schmidt. I'm Alex Hirsch. This is the inaugural episode of Behind the Jersey, where we'll be giving you an inside look at student athletes and their teams. Lindsay, you got to sit down with freshman guard Peyton Hawk. What was that like? Yeah, Alex, I sat down with Peyton and we talked about her transition to college life and what it's like being a college basketball player. Here's her story. Peyton was um, on our radar. My assistant coach, uh, Stephanie Toby, really pointed her out to, to me. Uh, as somebody to watch my first summer here in recruiting in the Northeast. A 5'9 freshman guard from York, Pennsylvania, and your College of General Studies number four, Peyton Hall. Leading up to committing, what ultimately like convinced you to go to BU? I think the school overall, it's great academics. Um, the location in the city, I love it. I really do. I wanted to come to a city, and I think it's like the perfect distance away from home. It's not too far, but it is far. I realize that now. And it's just the team really is like a family. I started basketball when I was five and I was kind of pushed into it, but it was more for just fun. I just really enjoyed it the most and then high school kind of made me realize that I really wanted to go to the next level with playing it. Your coach described you as when you take care of business or the way you take care of business on the court as quiet and confident. Is that an attitude you've had since you started at BU? Not with confidence, no, but I've always been a quiet person. Um, I think the confidence came with just the team and how they really encourage you and always positive and help you when you make a mistake. You may have not known it initially, but you had another teammate who was assigned mm -hmm. to you to help you make the transition. Sarah Hope was assigned to me and she I didn't realize it at first, but then eventually I did, and we did click very well. Her, her um, personality is great. I, I paired Sarah uh, Hope with Peyton, um, partly just based on temperament. I think it's always helpful to have somebody that can, um, you know, know the landscape from the basketball perspective, like position responsibilities and those kinds of things, but also somebody who's a little bit older and has, you know, a good lay of the land. She's a great kid. I mean, she, you can go to her with anything. She, and with basketball, she can apply anything you tell her right away. So I think that uh, adapting like that really helps her. Are you guys similar in terms of interest and personality? Um, I wouldn't say we're like exactly the same, but I think personality wise, I find her jokes funny. She finds mine funny, so that's a positive. <laughs> but um, we really get along on and off the court. Sarah is definitely somebody that, you know, I think everybody really enjoys um, relating to. She's she's a great person, got a warm heart, and I think she's um, kind of, you know, kind of the quintessential teammate that you want to have on your teams. What did it mean to you to have one of your teammates taking um, an interest in, like, helping you around campus? When I was a freshman in high school, I never had someone to look up to like that um, or someone always there to talk to, so it was nice to know that I'd always have somebody there when I'm here in a brand new city and far away from home to go to. It just helped me make the transition and made me feel more comfortable. It gave me a responsibility for her and I wanted to help her in any way I could and for Coach to give me that responsibility meant a lot because um, especially because now she's doing so great I feel like I helped her. A little, and even if it was just the smallest bit, just just become comfortable. And now she's doing great things. So let's talk a little bit um, more about you in terms of academics. I know it's early, very early, yeah. <laughs> in your uh, school career, but have you decided on what you want to major in? I'm looking into biomedical engineering. Um, I'm in general studies right now, but then I'm taking also engineering classes, and it's really interesting to me. So if I asked you what you wanted to be when you grow up, oh, what man. would you say? Being able to make something that I want to make and enjoying that and that will help other people will make me happy. You know, how do you apply things you have learned in basketball to academics? In basketball, it's kind of a team effort. And I know like in my career in the future, it's not just going to be all me doing something. I'll have my coworkers. And if it's engineering, there will be multiple people creating this thing. And you need to work together and understand each other. So I think now as a team we all understand each other and bond very well that we get the job done there so in the future hopefully I still have that same mentality where I get together with my co-workers and create something good. So we have your your first home game is coming up mm -hmm. this month 
It's yeah. or the first game in general is coming up this month. It's against one of the biggest rival schools, Northeastern, mm -hmm. which is really funny because you went to Northeastern yep. High School. <laughs> yeah. Have you been getting, uh, you know, have people like kind of made fun of the fact that you went to Northeastern High School? Um, yeah, I always wear this one sweatshirt and I get a lot of crap for it every single day. Someone says, oh, I didn't know you went there. I'm like, I don't, but that's my high school name. What are you most looking forward to this season? I think just being with the team a lot. I know we're going to be spending a lot of time together and I'm excited for that just because the team is like my family and I enjoy spending every minute with them. How do you think you're going to be feeling leading up to the first game home game? Are you starting to feel nervous at all? Uh, nerves is definitely a big thing, but I think come that time, I think it will turn into excitement. I know last year they didn't have the best season. I know a lot of them were not happy with it. So I think this year we really have a chance to go out there and prove a point. Um, everybody, we've all been working hard since summer. So I'm really excited to see where we head. Peyton is a great representative of what the future holds for BU women's basketball because she's so athletic. She's so smart. She's, she's got the gifts, she's got the toughness. And, and I think she's got the humility to say, like, I can always get better, too.